Hello, today I'm going to show you guys how to install Elenium Appearance into your 5M server. First, you want to go to the link below, and it takes you to the Elenium Studios GitHub. You want to download this. I've already downloaded it. You want to open your resources folder to your 5M server. You want to drag Elenium Appearance into your server. You also want to go to the Oxlib uh, GitHub and download this as well. Download the zip. Drag it into your folder as well. I put mine in standalone, like this. Once you've done these two things, you want to go to your Elenium Appearance folder. You want to make sure you go to the SQLs and make sure you open your database. Open this one. And what you want to do first is scroll down until you see player skins. And you want to drop this table. And you also want to scroll back down in the same database. Make sure you delete outfits, player outfits. And if you have, which you probably don't, I only have this because I've installed this already. You can drop outfit codes. Codes will get a new one. And You'll also get a new one of these, Management Outfits, if you have one of these. If you don't, you don't have to worry about dropping it. The only main ones that you have to drop is Player Skins and Player Outfits. And then once you've dropped those two tables, you can close this. And then you want to open each of these and run them. So you want to open this one, Player Skins, Execute, Refresh it. I'm going to scroll down and make sure it's there. Player skins. Alright, and then you can do the same with player outfits. You want to run this one as well. Run the SQL. And then refresh. Let's look for player outfits again to make sure it's there. There's player outfits. Close this. Open this one. Player outfit code. And you want to execute this one as well. Refresh it, scroll down, look for player outfit codes right here, close it one more time, click on management outfits, SQL, you want to run this one just like the others, execute it and refresh, and then you should have management outfits right here. Once you've executed all the SQL files, you don't need those anymore. You can then go to your resources folder, go to QB. You want to go down to QB apartments. And in the FX manifest Lua, you want to open that. And then down here at dependencies, it'll say QB core, QB clothing, QB interior, and QB lettuce sink. You want to want delete the line, the entire line that says QB clothing, just like this, and then delete it, and then save it. I don't have it here because I've already done this before. You want to do that in apartments, and if you have QB houses, you're going to do the same exact thing. I don't have QB houses because I use a different housing system. But you have to do the same exact thing in QB houses and QB apartments. Make sure you delete QB clothing, and make sure you delete QB tattoo shop if you have those as well. And then, you want to make sure in your server CFG, let me go back to my folder here, in my server CFG, it says here in the documentation you want it to run Ensure Cubicore, then Oxlib, and then Elenium Appearance. So you want to make sure that it says right here, make sure you want to Ensure Cubicore first, then Oxlib, and then Ensure Elenium Appearance. Once you've done all this, you'll be able to load into your 5M server. Once you've loaded into your 5M server and you go to the clothing store or if you're an admin, you can click give the clothes menu to yourself. And then here's the clothes menu right here, Elenium Appearance. There's the pet options, inheritance, face features, appearance, clothing, props, and tattoos. You can change this menu style in the config. If you look into the documentation, you'll be able to find out where you can change the menu style. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.